All right, what's going on, everybody? Um, today I'm doing something different. I wanted to break down all of my trading strategies that I use to help set up your graphs on TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. There's a bunch of different techniques, strategies that you can do to be successful on trading stocks, but I use primarily the VWAP strategy. There's different ones. There's Ichimoku, Fibonacci retracement, all this good stuff. But I feel like VWAP strategy is the best for beginners and the best to start off because it's teachable and a lot of people are going to be able to learn and follow it. So let's get right into it. One more thing, don't forget, if you look down below, we have our Discord server. So if you want to learn more about that, click the link and it'll take you to our Instagram and you can DM us, message us about anything that you want to questions on. And if you want to join it, let us know and we got you. Going to the very beginning of this, you want to make a TD Ameritrade account and download the Think or Swim option. So right here is the icon. You click on it. So immediately when you pull up TD Ameritrade Think or Swim, it's going to look a little bit something like this. Confusing, right? Well, let's break it down real quick. So this is the stock chart for Nikola. Everybody knows about Nikola. It was the hottest stock it hit some crazy highs and a bunch of people made a lot of money. So to start off, you see the ticker symbol here, Nikola, and you see its stock chart. So just a little bit to break down what this is. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this is a 15-minute chart, reading a, the stock change every 15 minutes. So you can see the black darker shade is when the market's open and then the light gray is when the market is closed so if we zoom back out you can get a better look at the chart and you can see that right now Nicholas sitting at 49.66 great so if we go in to our time frame you can see that you can change it to one minute one day five day five minute I always primarily keep it on one day one minute so boom, it looks a lot cleaner now. And then you see how you can't really look and see where the stock's going. It's just kind of sitting there and you want to be able to see where it's going to go and predict what it's going to do. So you hit chart settings, go into time axis, and then you go to bars to the right, add 50, hit apply. Boom, there you go. Zoom back out and you can see what the stock's going to do, where it's going to go. Now, onto the trading strategies, you can see that there's not really any indicators telling you what to do or anything to read. So you want to go up to studies. You can see here, but I always go off to studies here. The VWAP strategy is great because there's little risk. I'm not going to say that there's no risk because there's always going to be risk when you're trading stocks. But this helps you minimize it a lot. So first ticker, obviously, we're going to add is the VWAP indicator. Boom. Add selected. And the next one is the movement average exponential. So let's add that real quick. So move average. Boom. Add selected. And then you have this SMA line. It just gives you a better average. I'll explain it later. So SMA. Oh, you got to make the whole thing out. S. Boom. P -L -E. Boom. Add selected. So then you got to go to your lower bounds and add MACD and RSI. So these are going to be all your indicators to see. So when I hit apply now, you're going to see the graph change a lot. So watch this. Boom. Changes the graph a ton. And we have all of this set up. Put in. Boom, boom. Make sure that's all set up everywhere. We want to change the SMA to a 15 length to get a better idea. Boom, apply, change it a little bit. Let's make sure the MACD is still set up. 1226.9, RSI, 407030. Perfect. Okay, so now we are good to talk about what is going on in all of this mess. So the first one is the VWAP. So let's slide in on this real quick. This is, these two lines, the pink and the purple, are going to be the upper and lower bounds of your VWAP. The VWAP strategy talks about trading within the VWAP. 
breaking it down with the VWAP is it's a trading benchmark used by traders and it gives you an average price security on a volume and a price. So you want to make sure that when you're trading that you stay within this VWAP bound because the VWAP could easily push higher and push lower. But by staying within the VWAP bounds, that helps you maintain your profits. And just the name for the VWAP is uh, the volume weighted average price. So the next thing that we're going to talk about then is moving on to the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, which is this guy down here. So the MACD is a trend following momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of a security price. So it's pretty much telling you the relationship of the moving average from buys and sells. So if you look closer on here, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more and get a better look. I look at it like this. So the MACD is really what helps you give those buy and sell indicators in addition to trading within the VWAP. So what I do is you see how these MACD lines are crossing here? You wait for them to cross below this VWAP bound. And when they cross down here, this is a buy signal. So you buy here, ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it, and boom, it crosses again, sell signal. You see how it's starting to dip again? Let's see if we can find a better example. Um, let's move our graph out a little bit. Right, let me move back in. There we go. We can go right here. All right. So we see here how it hits the bottom at 48.31. And right above that, it gives you that buy signal right here at around, what is that, 49.6. So you have that buy signal here. You ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it. Boom. And then there's that sell signal right here sitting at around... 50.16, you buy four shares, buy 40 shares, whatever you got, you're making bread. And then finally, if we go back out, moving to the RSI, also known as the Relative Strength Index. And that's an oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. There's a mathematical equation to calculate RSI. I don't know what it is, but I know it's effective and a lot of people use it. So... If you look down at the bottom here, you can see the RSI indicator, and you can see that it pretty much shows the weight here. So when the RSI is low, that shows another buy signal. It's kind of like a piggybacking off of the MACD, and then when it gets to the top and starts to bank off, you can tell it's another sell signal, kind of like the MACD kind of piggybacks again. You see... It sits at that 48.31, and then you get all the way up to here, and then boom, at, what is that, 65, that's 51, and that tells you where that pullback is going to be. So it hits that peak, and then pulls back down, and then you can see it hits higher highs as it gets closer to the higher bound of the RSI. So it's just another way to verify your buy and to guarantee you more profits. So this is in simple terms of what I use to trade. There's obviously a lot more that you can add to it, but this is the very beginner and basic way to trade. If you follow these, I would not guarantee any profit, but if you follow these steps, it will definitely set you in the right direction to being a successful trader. So I'll be putting out more videos like this for you guys of just learning how to trade stocks, learning how to make profits, make gains. But again, down below is going to be our Discord link and it's going to be our trading group. So if you want to join that, make sure to click the link, message us, and we'll get you all set up. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.